You guys really haven't missed too much lately, other than I bought a new truck. So I kind of scaled down on the projects a little bit. Uh, I sold that 6 liter to a subscriber from Pennsylvania. He came out and got it. Super nice guy. And he's going to put it uh, put it to use. I think he's got an old Chevy wagon, I believe. So, on this Sunday evening, my, my friends, the only project I've got going on here, besides making a mess and knocking shit over, and listening to my dogs bark. I could never understand why they cast this oil crossover, the oil adapter here, and they give you a blind hole. I mean, we all know this is a perfect place for a um, for your your oil pressure your sensor, you know, the port for the sensor. You could spend the money and get the little adapter that <clears throat> you know screws into the back of the block. Autometer sells it. I don't even remember the part number. I've bought in a couple of them, but I've got a huge box of brass fittings. Drill and uh, the appropriate adapters. I mean, this is a little bit extra. I mean, I got an extension on this thing, and then female, and then the compression fitting. You get the idea. So you need a few things. You're gonna need a drill. I eyeballed it. I think this is like an 11 30 seconds or 3 16 drill bit. You just need to go through. Not too much. You just need to make a hole here, and then you're going to need a one eighth, one eighth by I think it's uh, one eighth by twenty seven uh, pipe tap. Tap it out, and then of course I got a ratchet and ten millimeter twelve point works perfect for that. So let's see if I can do this without too much fuss. Try not to mar the gasket surface here, so let's see how am I going to approach this. I should probably turn it upside down so I can check my progress. It's aluminum, so it shouldn't take much. That was it. What'd that take? Like eight seconds? That's all you need, just a simple hole. Nothing crazy. So I clamp this bad boy in the vise here. Carefully, of course, because it's aluminum. Don't want to mess up that gasket surface. Get a little spray on it. It's meant to be. Let's see if we can get it started here. Not too much fuss. Oh yeah, she's biting. Make sure. Well, anytime you're tapping, you just want to make sure you're you're going it straight. force behind it, make sure it's straight. Back out. Clean the threads. Clean the dirt out, or the excess material out. Notice I'm choking the ratchet, I'm not putting full leverage. Choking it. Choking my chicken. Ha! Ah. Am I through yet? She starts getting a little dry. Always lube your tool. Right. 
cut through aluminum here, so. Fresh can of brake parts cleaner here. Try not to get the shit in my eyes. Voila. Simple, easy peasy. Clean out the threads one more time. Look at that. And that, my friends, is how you make an inexpensive uh, oil pressure sensor port. It's all over the internet. People have been doing it for years, but it's the easiest way to do it. Enjoy your weekend, what's left of it. Have a safe and prosperous work week. Catch up with y'all really soon. Laters.